Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is going to be the first video of many instructional videos on how to uh, RCs. Basically, uh, I'm going to do a bunch of videos on like how to waterproof your RC. Uh, later on, I'm going to do how to tune your RC, how to set up RCs, how to anything to do with RCs, uh, including uh, nitro-powered, electric, uh, helicopters, cars, trucks, uh, boats, uh, possibly some planes. Um, just about anything. So anyways, this video is going to be on how to waterproof your RC. This will basically uh, work with any RC, whether it be a scaler, crawler, um, brushless monster truck. Uh, this is a uh, 1 16th scale slash. It'll work on this. It'll work on boats, planes, anything. This will work on just about anything. And this is the best way I find to waterproof an RC, and it's very, uh, very cost effective as well. So anyways, here's uh, my micro slash. This is going to be what we're going to be using to waterproof. It is not waterproof right now, as you can see. All you need is a balloon, uh, a couple of zip ties, uh, some double-sided tape to attach it when you're done. You need some silicone or some aquarium sealant, uh, some scissors to trim some stuff off. And this stuff here, that's going to be for uh, waterproofing your servo, but I'll show you that later on. All right, I'm going to cut to the next part of the video, and uh, here we go. Okay, here's the, the first step. The first step is to put the receiver inside a balloon. You basically just stretch out the balloon, and you carefully place the receiver in, and uh, don't force it in. Like, basically, just put it in carefully, because if you don't uh, put it in right, the plugs will unplug inside the balloon, and you really don't want that. So you want to put it in so that you have lots of room, it's nice and loose and uh, has room to move and a little bit of room to breathe as well. So uh, don't worry about this plug here uh, on this particular model. I have only one servo hooked up because uh, you don't really need both servos. I, I can if I want to, but it works fine with one servo on this. So I'm just disconnecting it and using it as a spare if this one fries. So basically after you're done putting it in there carefully, you zip tie this end first. And I'll show you that in a second. Hold on. Okay, so now that I got the uh, the first zip tie on, basically uh, I just put the zip tie as close as I can to the receiver where the wire is. Uh, without unplugging any of the wires, you've got to be really careful to uh, to not pull the wires out inside there because now you got it zip tied. You don't want any wires pulling out and you know it's just going to be a pain. you got to take the balloon off again and it's, it's just a pain in the butt. So basically the next thing you want to do is this neck of the balloon, you want to fill that with silicone or uh, aquarium sealant or anything uh, like that. So basically fill it all the way to the top, being careful not to get it all over the place. When you're done that, you're going to seal that off with another zip tie and that's going to seal it and waterproof it. Okay, so you, now you can see that I filled the neck with silicone and uh, I didn't overfill it. Basically just kind of work it around the wires and uh, make sure that everything is coated inside the, uh, the neck of the, uh, of the balloon. Uh, when you're done that, just seal off the end here with a zip tie and uh, your receiver will be totally waterproof. So uh, I will jump to that part now. Okay, so now that you've got um, the balloon zip tied, sorry about the shaky camera here, uh, you want to trim off the zip ties and then mount your receiver to the position where you want it. Uh, basically you want to make sure the wires are neatly and uh, put out of the way of the motor and basically uh, so that it looks good and that doesn't look like a piece of crap. And I mean obviously you want it wires out of the way so they don't get caught in the uh, the drive shafts or spur gears or anything you know that it might chop the wires off. So I will jump to that part uh, now. Okay so now that I've uh, decided to put the cover on this instead of use double-sided tape. Uh, the double-sided tape didn't seem to stick too well so I just trimmed out a hole on this side to you know, pop out the balloon and the wires and uh, I just basically mounted this stock cover back on and it seems to hold everything in there and it looks a little neater and uh, it seems to do the job. Okay so I just came in from a, uh, a snow bash 
and uh, the waterproofing was effective as you can see it uh, definitely uh, kept the water out of my electronics um, everything stayed uh, dry I drove it for about 45 minutes out in the snow and as you can see it's definitely covered and uh, there you have it